Ladies and gentlemen, we have some very disturbing news coming to you from the Talking to Myself News Headquarters. Apparently, Tumblr has died today. This was not the only casualty, as apparently three days before, George H.W. Bush passed away. Anyway, Tumblr was founded on February the 19th, 2007, by its founder and former chief financial officer, David Carr. The ex-CFO David Carr murdered Tumblr in its sleep on December the 1st, 2018. In other words, it screwed itself, and now it's dead. Enjoy this stunning and historically accurate tribute to Tumblr. And now it's dead! The following program that you're about to see is based on actual real-life events that may prove too damning for politically correct audiences. If you're going to be offended by any of what you'll see shortly, then WHAT THE HELL ARE YOU DOING ON MY CHANNEL?! Nonetheless, the following is purely for educational, informational, and comedic purposes only. In other words, don't be a stupid shillery, okay? Be a trumpeter. Repeat after me. I have no talent. I have no talent. <laughs> Is that what you're guys oh oh mm. <laughs> I'm telling you guys <laughs> oh man I don't I don't even know where to begin here so I'm just gonna say this I'm going to say the following. Welcome to yet another episode of one of the most politically incorrect web shows in YouTube history. This is Talking to Myself News. I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson. And the person that you saw in the intro to this is actually my cartoonized counterpart, Scully Sanderson. Who provided us with this brilliant freaking commentary at the beginning of this episode. Let that sink in. A cartoonized portrait of myself just told you guys the God's honest truth. In shorthand. And now I'm going to give it to you longhand. Okay? Listen to me. By the, by the way, what I have here is a chock full of sugar. <laughs> Bottom line, humanity has gone full retard, and it stayed that way for nearly 2,000 years. Why? Here's why. Um, nah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. 
Simon Miller, you're a genius, but the people surrounding you at What Culture Wrestling are a bunch of idiots. You need to get the hell out of there, buddy. You need to start your own YouTube channel or join Cultaholic 1. I think it would be better if you joined Cultaholic, but... You make your own decisions. I'm not going to tell you what to do, Mr. Miller. You got it. But the point is... Today would have been my dad's 53rd birthday. You know, Thomas Wig Anderson, right? The guy that I that I talk about every year around this time and have been since I started my YouTube channel in 2013. Granted, he was not the most faithful human being. He was not the most faithful husband to my mom. In fact, he had many infidelities about him. Despite this, he had a tireless, dedicated work ethic. And because of that, he was able to live a very decent life, despite having it cut short Way longer than it should have. Because you think my grandfather, my grandfather died of Alzheimer's age 77 back in 2000. My father only lived to be just a little bit over half of that age. I never really thought back then, and I still never really imagine now. <clears throat> excuse me. That being 19 years old or 20 would be considered middle-aged. Never really thought of that. And you know, the, the sad part about that is, the sad part is that he died four days after his 39th birthday on the night of the winter solstice of a drug-induced heart attack caused by no less or more than 10 hours of complete drug withdrawal while he was shitting on his toilet. You think that's an indignant way to go? My Uncle Mikey ended up having a heart attack and died face first in a pile of shit. Life has its moments, even in tragedy. Even in the wake of sadness, there is always something to make you laugh. And still, you are reigning, defending, undisputed, Social Injustice Champion, Kevin the Skull Anderson. Enough about that. I'm just, just being myself. Okay. So it has been one hell of a 2018, hasn't it? Tumblr has committed suicide. Twitter and Facebook have gone the way of MySpace, and MySpace recently got bought by Time Incorporated, the same guys that promote Time Magazine. <laughs> Not that that has to mean anything, but without, right? Now, I thought for the longest time that you're in the picture with your host Jackie Gleason was the worst thing to ever appear on television. That was, of course, until I saw about 95% of what I would normally see on television, which is exactly as it is intended to do, which is to program minds to be permanently brainwashed by democratic satanic horseshit. Minus the democracy, because there's no such thing as democracy anymore in this country. Democracy died 
1812 at the hands of one of its own, Mr. Andrew the Jackass Jackson. And though he could have, well, hell, I'll, I'll talk about that in a fourth documentary that I'm going to compose and upload for you guys in March of 2019 called Jefferson's Mistake, Jackson's Piss Take, Why Democracy Died. And you know what the sad part is? Jefferson wasn't even the one to blame for this. He originally made democracy as a means to not put politics over people. But one of his own, Andrew Jackson, what does he do? Andrew Jackson puts politics over people. And generations of corrupt despots after him have been following that same 206-year-old formula. And it has failed miserably. So I guess you could say that Karl Marx, despite having claimed to invent Marxism, was predated by about three decades by his predecessor, Andrew Jackson. Irony! <laughs> and, yet, and yet still, people want to try to play the race card like it's 2008 all over again, but it's 2018, and Barack Obama isn't running for president anymore. Hell, he stopped being president two years ago. And people won't get over it. And now that Donald Trump is president, they want to make a big song and dance out of it. They want to shit all over the man who never put politics over anything, much less over people. And what the fuck did they do about it? They do nothing. They sit on their hands, they do jack shit. What is it worth? I'll tell you what it's worth. It's worth nothing! Let me explain something to you guys, okay? You retarded morons want to view Donald Trump as the enemy. Meanwhile, the enemy is the anti-Donald Trump in the form of Barry Sotoro, whose parents smuggled him into Hawaii, which is a part of the United States, illegally, thus making Barack Obama, also known as Barry Sotoro, which is his real name, by the way, by default, an illegal immigrant, rendering anything that he did, or it should have rendered anything that he did, beyond the moment that he stepped foot in the United States when his parents illegally smuggled him here, illegitimate, null and void, bupkis. But there is only one thing that disproves that argument. One thing. And it's actually pretty simple. The one thing that disproves my argument is the fact that 69 and a half million people we're stupid enough to vote for this piece of shite! And yet they want to demonize Donald Trump because he's working for the people. For us. And yet, these same people that voted for Barry Sotoro in 2008 want to stand by an FBI that says that people who voted for Donald Trump are quote-unquote retarded Meanwhile, they act all retarded, and they're like, well, like this. Stop the hammering! Regardless, I'm pretty sure that you get my drift, so we're good. Anyhow, I'd like to talk about one of the more important things of my life as of late. And that is, of course... The holidays. See, the holidays are a very important time this year. You gather with family, you decorate the house, you clean house, you try to keep the house clean while you're cleaning house, and you set up a bunch of Christmas tree lights as well. Not that it means anything, but whatevs, right? 
Things are what they are. To hell with it. Anyway, I have spent the last week here recalibrating this house. As you can see, plain as day as of me recording this now, December the 17th, 2018. The point is... I'm going to keep it light, and I'm going to keep it as PG as I possibly freaking can, because of course I can, because I'm totally PG that way, yeah! Right? The fact of the matter is so simple. You've got to hear me out. When was Christmas ever supposed to be about Santa Claus? I mean, granted, Santa Claus is somebody, right? And still, through all this time, they would rather worship Santa Claus than Jesus Christ. Why can't it be about Jesus Christ? I mean, for God's sake, man. Why don't we just keep the Christ in Christmas then? I mean, oh, there's a reason why you're supposed to keep Christ in Christmas. Because Christ himself is the reason for the season. He was born on that day, you know. But of course, we all know that. Because it is an indisputable, undisputed fact and an overall matter of time. See, what you people don't understand, and you'll understand this soon enough, but Jesus Christ is, has been, and always will be the reason of the season. Hey there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, that's how good cat you are. Oh. Obligatory cat petting break. If our truth can do a dance break, I can too. Except it's a cat break, not a dance break. But what the hell, right? Who says you can't have a little pussy here and there? Especially when you're petting a cat and you're feeding and watering it every day and you're taking care of it and giving it some attention every now and then. I mean, you know. It all reverts to that one Garfield jerk, that one Garfield joke that some guy on YouTube made when Garfield asked John, plain English, his, his owner John Arbuckle, John, am I the only pussy you can get? I mean, I don't know. Jesus Christ. I'm going off the rails here. But what a time to do it because it's the holiday season! Santa's holiday season! <laughs> Fuck off. I mean, okay. Okay, hear me out. Got all this shit going on. For absolutely no reason. Meanwhile, the FISA has yet to be released! Yeah! Why you no release FISA? Anyway. The point I'm trying to make is so simple. It is so easy to understand. You gotta keep Christ in Christmas. It is so simple. It is so easy for anybody to do, and yet so many people simply refuse to do it, and it's unbelievable, and I can't understand why people would not want to keep Christ in Christmas! Oh. <sighs> This is just another reason why I've lost complete faith in humankind to begin with. Because not even God can fix us. The only thing that can fix us, which is God, is also the one thing that we won't listen to when we know to listen to Him. Like, what the hell? People don't want to listen to logic or reason or common sense anymore. They want to respond by their feelings because my purpose, my feelings, fuck logic, fuck reason, fuck everything else on the damn toes is not political. I ain't gonna buy it. 
do it because I'm a donkey dick sucker. Man, look how I'm good at I jerk off the Barry Sotaro and I love it. No. It doesn't work that way. It has never worked that way. At all. Not even the teeniest tiny little bit. Even if you wanted it to, it still wouldn't work that way. What else is there to talk about? What can I talk to myself about now? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, shit, I, I, I lost my train of thought. Let me, let me think about this. Let me think about it. Right, so... Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has become a living, breathing meme by becoming the stupidest, most retarded human being in history to be elected to any Congress of any nation. The only people that are stupider than her are the retarded morons that voted for her dumbass. There are no other way to, to say it. There's no other ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I'm not talking about the posterior either. God. Humanity is absolutely screwed. Which reminds me of something that I've been wanting to say, quite frankly, for a long, long time. Take it away, self. Humanity, I have... One very simple question that I think every single one of you can answer, but choose not to, and that is, in plain English, WHAT THE FUCK IS WRONG WITH YOU PEOPLE?! Anyway, I'm gonna get to the one. By the way, I just shaved a few minutes ago. <laughs> Alright. The point I'm trying to make is simple. Humanity does not know how to govern itself. That's why it's not going to be a type 1 civilization for another 200 years. At least. As far as I'm concerned, you know, Car according to Kardashev's scale, humanity is a point seven six. I think, civilization is a, point, is a 0 0.76 civilization. A type 0 0.76. We can't even gather in our own human race properly to take care of it. And we won't be able to for the next 200 years at the least. And I honestly can say that with absolute certainty because there is a video on YouTube that I researched about type 1, type 2, and type 3 civilizations, and we're not even a type 1 yet. Imagine that, huh? We're not even a type 1 civilization yet, and we won't be for the next 200 years. That is, if we don't kill ourselves first, which we will, because we're that stupid. Good news happened in December. George H.W. Bush passed away. He lived a long life and now he's in hell. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Probably, it's more than likely that God led him into heaven because he's God. He can do that. He can do whatever he wants because he's God. God is the measuring stick of life and death. But, you know, with Tumblr committing suicide and Twitter and Facebook going the way of MySpace, and eventually they're going to be bought by Time Incorporated as well. So they're pretty much screwed. There's nothing that can save them. There's nothing that can save Verizon or the NFL, especially after what Colin Kaepernick did to NFL and Nike. And that's really saying a lot. Colin Kaepernick, a Muslim, despite pretending to be a black man, is actually a white man living a black man's life. So he's obviously got the first known American case of transracial identity disorder. 
he's no different than the guy named Antoine Smalls who thinks he's a 35-year-old white guy even though he's a teenage black man living in London, England. I don't know, is he a Muslim too? Eh, to hell with it. The point I'm trying to make is so simple. It is so simple. People, if we're gather, if we're going to have any chance in hell of governing our own planet, we have to govern ourselves first. And quite frankly, we're not capable of doing that. And we won't be unless we allow ourselves to be. That means we've got to stop hiding behind a religious agenda or political curtain. we got to stop hiding by all these retarded cults like Scientology and Heaven's Gate. Because clearly those so-called cults are really just attempts to destroy what little faith we have in our own human race. It's pretty much it. Aside from that, there's not much of anything else to say. Except, maybe, maybe, for some reason, and I'm just a regular jack-off, I don't know shit, but maybe, if we could bring God back in our public educational school systems again, and allow prayer back in school, so that we all can start reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, not just to the flag of the United States of America, but the God in one nation under God, the same God high above that made us. I mean, it's really not that difficult, man. Holy shit. How simple is that? I mean, come on, man. Come on. I mean, I know we're retarded, but we're not that retarded to just let humanity go to the fucking dogs. <laughs> we're not even smarter than most dogs now. Because we don't give a shit. Because we don't use our mind. we got to stop using our fucking dicks and start using our minds. It's so simple. There's no other way to say it. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you guys that is all this has been another episode of talking to myself news season 5 episode 2 and a very merry shitmas to all of you good night or depending on where you live, a not so